Welcome back to the Super 16 Sports Finals. Seven more games to go to attack in Week 10. December football is practically a birthright at Southern Columbia after six straight state titles. The Tigers' postseason aspirations, certainly they have that this season. But before they have to get to the district playoffs and possibly another title run in December, they end the regular season against Shikalemi. The Braves coming into Tiger land trying to bounce back from a 69 to 13 loss last week to Mount Carmel. Man, Mount Carmel and Southern Columbia back to back doesn't get much more difficult than that. It doesn't get much more difficult than that Southern Columbia defense. They come through with the sack right there later in the first quarter. Shikalemi punting and Loudon Murphy doing work. Racing down the left sideline, takes it in for the 45 yard touchdown, 7 0 Southern. How about the passing game? Blake Wise connecting to his man, of course, Loudon Murphy. Nothing but space and opportunity. 65 yard touchdown, 14 0 Southern Columbia. After a stop, they're back on the field. Of course, you know who it is by now. Loud and Murphy. It's your game, bro. We just put the chairs out. 14 to nothing, Southern Columbia. And then back to the offense. Murphy taking it in once again. 55 to nothing, Southern Columbia wins this one in convincing fashion to end the regular season. Carbondale on the road at Old Forge. Chargers trying to end a two-game losing streak. No score in the first quarter. Kale Krishnowski gets the hand off and straight through the defense and man that's a charge from the chargers 65 yard touchdown or excuse me 65 yard first down down to the 15 yard line but a couple plays later i mean we knew it was going to get to this frankie perot in the back of the end zone touchdown blue devils on top six to nothing next drive in the second quarter tj demadia connects with Frankie Perot once again, and he races all the way to the end zone to make it 13 to nothing Old Forge. Old Forge looking good in this one with a 33 to 10 win. Wyoming area hungry to bounce back from the Warriors' first loss of the season, taking on Pittston area. Second quarter, 7 to nothing Wyoming area on third and six. The pitch to this man, Aaron Crosley. He's a dangerous weapon. You see why he's headed to Lehigh next season. 86 yards, a good run in. In for the touchdown and make it 14 to nothing Wyoming area. Pittston, five first downs, only one less than Wyoming area, but they had no points to show for it. But how about this? They dial up the double reverse. Drew DeLuca connects with Matt Walters for the 44 yard touchdown. Wyoming area still ahead 21 to 6. Fourth quarter. They don't just have Aaron Crosley. They got this guy, Michael Crane, racing down to the one yard line. Wyoming area wins the division title with a 35 to 14 win. Um, in this rivalry game, um, really uh, came out to uh, you know establish ourselves, and this group just did a great job of in a big game on a big stage like this in our rivalry game, um, just coming out uh, fast out of the gate and competing, and, and you knew um, that Pittston was going to come back and make that push, and we did, and we met that, and, and we're able to finish. So just a tremendous team effort, and an effort by again one of the best players in the state of Pennsylvania, Aaron Crosley. Certainly one of the best players in Pennsylvania. We almost don't even recognize Mount Carmel this year. They're defying the odds and switching things up, running the football. Forget that. They're throwing the football this year with Cole Spears. Good way to, way to have multiple ways to win when you're a good football team. Spears and company, one last tune-up for the district playoffs taking on Shemokin. Let's head to that cold bucket game. Mount Carmel taking on Shemokin. Shemokin has not won this game since 1995. But Mount Carmel trailing in the second half, picking it up at halftime. I don't know what they said at halftime because Xavier Diaz was ready, has the first down later in the drive. Luke Blessing, let him know, 60-yard touchdown running through the defense. And Mount Carmel right back to the running game, this time making those adjustments at halftime. Xavier Diaz doing what he can. Luke Blessing, they've got a whole lot of weapons, and they've got this guy at quarterback, Cole Spears, doing what he can. So many weapons in the second half. Mount Carmel comes back to win this one, 46 to 13. Wyoming Valley West trying to end an eight game losing streak on the road at Wilkes-Barre area. Less than two minutes to go in the game. Wilkes-Barre area, or excuse me, in the first quarter. Wilkes-Barre area connecting. Jake Howe connects with Joven Goodwin, a 55-yard pass play. The Wolfpack trying to bounce back from only scoring seven points last week. They're ahead 7-0. Later in the quarter, how about that Wolfpack running game? Devon Underwood, 28 yards, rumbling to the house for the touchdown. 14-0 Wolfpack. Still in the first quarter, Jake Howe this time hits, of course, Underwood once again. 20-0 Wilkes-Barre area. Second quarter, Wolfpack. Evan Layborn body. 
You know his name by now throughout this season. He's had plenty of highlights. A 19-yard touchdown. Wilkes-Barre area wins 42 to nothing. Senior night at Pleasant Valley. Gotta love the ladies in pink. Tie game at half. Ethan Sadol connects with Ethan Duzak for a big play, bringing him to the four-yard line. The next play, William Francis caps off a drive with a touchdown, and the Mountaineers win this one on the road 31-7. to